Hello all. A viewer asked me to do a uh, video on uh, the Conky script I use in uh, Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. Uh, so I'm going to begin with uh, where I obtained the uh, Conky um, files uh, to do that and it's uh, called Conky Colors and in uh, Arch Linux it's uh, fairly easy to uh, install very easy actually all you have to have is yao art which is installed here so you just type in yao art and conky dash colors and it's entry number two here okay so just enter the number two press enter and it'll uh, ask you if you want to edit uh, that's up to you um, i'm going to choose no so just end and edit the install no and just continue building and it'll download all these dependencies that you need um, that's what i mean by easy <laughs> uh, it does it for you so after it's installed we'll uh, run a command uh, a sudo and it's uh, sensors dash detect now on a, in a virtual machine it's not going to be at the same but you can answer yes to these. Just press enter for capital yes. And that's it. The problem is here is since it's virtual, no sensors were detected. So um, it, on your regular machine, it'll be fine though. Okay. Now, if you go to your home folder and press control H to unhide, uh, there isn't a dot conky file yet. So what we do is just type in. Uh, Conky colors dash colors and then um, just to initialize the script the, the beginning script and uh, the folder just put like a CPU whatever you have like say four or six in this case and it spits out a command and it says if you run this conky dash C and then uh, the path of your home folder to eventually to the conky RC so you just take that and copy it paste that in I'll zoom out here press enter and there on the side here is the conky script with what I asked it to this is just a basic uh, script it, it does give you the time and the date and the amount of RAM so it does do like a system so that CPU command does quite a bit actually and to just uh, stop this from running for the time, for the time being, is just press Control C, and it'll say uh, terminated and bye. Okay, so Control H to unhide, to hide and unhide. You can toggle back and forth. So now we have Conky colors in our directory, and there's our Conky RC file, and whatever your uh, default editor is, it'll open up in that. In this case, it's Leafpad, and you can see there's a lot of stuff already done for you. So after looking over that. Uh, file uh, close it for now and just uh, if you have synapse just uh, type in keyboard a lot of shortcut that we had from the uh, terminal so I'll reopen the terminal arrow up and just copy this again if it's not already in the clipboard I think it is anyway so just copy that and go to keyboard and click add new command paste that in Press OK and press a keyboard combination like Control Alt and apostrophe. I think yeah, and then add another one. T kill conkey and then press OK or enter OK for, or press Enter for OK and then Control Alt uh, semicolon. Now we don't need to go back to the terminal to start and stop. Uh, Conky, just press uh, your key combination. It's on and off. Now, um, you notice that it might be a little small, kind of hard to read. You can change the global size, uh, maybe to 10. Don't go overboard, though. So we'll just uh, backspace this 8 here, put it to 10. And then as soon as you press Control S to save, it'll restart it. And that's a little better. You might want to um, change the background and uh, so it's, you can see it a little better and the colors too. Okay, so quick change the background. You can see this now 
and the date if you don't like the uh, 12 hour format you can change that to uh, 12 hour it's under uh, system clock right here it has a percent H change that to an I percent I save and now it has a 12 hour and you can actually add the seconds so you put a, a colon and a percent and S percent sorry uh, five capitals uh, and the capital S save and it's uh, kind of big so it's cutting off the uh, seconds indicator so under the uh, font size we can maybe knock this down to 25 and control S to save and restart it there we go that's better now we can see the 12 hour clock with the uh, seconds and happy Halloween by the way now for at the very top where it has a terminal and it's a, get a penguin inside you can change the conky color logos to a small letter A for Arch Linux it's not going to make that much of a difference uh, in this case but change that to an A and then uh, save it'll restart and now it has an A inside now for colors I went to this site uh, this has a lot of information and I just uh, typed in the the hex color of this which is in your conky RC right here and it's in there twice defined by color 0 1 2 so you see 0 would be white and other colors are uh, this color that I typed in. So you could, if you wanted to, um, maybe a different color, a complementary color, say this one. And it, if you click on it, you can just grab that color, for example, and just type it in here. Save that. And now you see the colors changed to a little brighter. That might work out better. It depends on, on your background, of course. And by background, I mean the wallpaper. All right, after a brief coffee break, <laughs> um, you back up to colors here. You can add more to, uh, to define your own, uh, like color four. And you can sometimes get away with just plain words like yellow or something. And then for this clock here, go down to uh, this color here and just change that number to a four and save now it's a uh, yellow so moving on uh, to adding keyboard shortcuts just take this um, this is just a reminder a comment section so you can copy that and paste that in there and change it to uh, keyboard and add the extra pound signs so be one two three there save nothing's really changed it's still the same now the stippled I think it's called here is these uh, dotted lines so we can take this V offset font size name stippled um, horizontal line copy that and just under the keyboard comment paste that in and change this to uh, keyboard short cuts and just save and see what we have so far okay you can see that it's uh, now there keyboard shortcuts and from now it's just a matter of just filling in what you want to have for shortcuts and you can add uh, other uh, subtitles if you wish but um, the V offset um, and the uh, font um, liberation I think I didn't say that right in the beginning and then we don't want the stippled HR but we can just uh, copy this whole line paste it in take out uh, the stippled and maybe the font to start with and then uh, whatever you the way you want to define it. All right, so this is what uh, I have so far on the side here, the conky script. And you can mess around with the V offset so it's separated a little more from the clock. And you can have these a little closer to each other, V offset two. And you can also add another, uh, just a stripled 
line by itself if you want to continue the keyboard uh, shortcuts if you have them and you can you know define another color and so on basically and you can make this V offset less like a, say 5 save so it's not so far apart and I think you get the idea so to wrap this up I made another section information and you see on the side here the information and there's a Pac-Man uh, a script you can use from Pac-Man to check for updates I think it's every hour and here's the exec CPI 3600 alright so that should uh, finish this one up and thanks to the person for asking me to do this because uh, it's you know it's always learning new things and I hope it helps you out and anybody else watching this so that's it thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.